Yeah, hi there. Uh, these comments, I'm going to just use the first letter of your name, Y. And uh, my goodness, so for the last year, you've taken five IBT TOEFL tests. So your score range in the reading is anywhere from 23 to 26 points. Your goal is 24. Your listening range is, you, is between 24 and 26. Your goal is 24. Your speaking range is anywhere from 24 to 28. Your goal is 24. Your writing is your weakest area from 21 to 23 points. Your goal is 24. So you need a total score of 98 and you want it and right now your scores are anywhere between 93 and 100. So you say, I need help with writing mostly. I would like to work on reading as much as I can too. My speaking is good, but I do not mind. You want to say here, working not to work. I do not mind working on pronunciation. I do not need help with listening. I book my next test on January 24. According to my schedule, I can study 20 hours or 20 days for six hours each. I'd like to hear your suggestions on how I can prepare. I'm ready to start my preparation on December 8th. All right. All right, let me get a pencil here and write, take down some notes. Okay, so as far as I can tell here, You need help with writing, which also means grammar. And give me one more second. Okay, so if you work on writing, you also have to work on grammar for sure. So I'll put those down. You said you also need some help with maybe pronunciation. And you don't really need that much help with listening, and you'd like to work also on reading. So, reading, writing, grammar, and pronunciation. Okay, so here are my recommendations right now. Uh, I'm going to recommend, uh, if you have six hours a day, the first thing you can do before you do anything is not even using my online TOEFL course. Even before you do this, I want you to get in the habit right now of reading. I want you to read materials, newspapers, magazines, and longer books. I think this is going to be important for you. So about 45 minutes every day you can spend with reading practice. Now. In addition, make sure that you focus on notes, getting down the main points and the most important supporting points of the reading passages. Then using your notes, you can practice writing academic summaries. Each summary should be about 250 words. Your goal here, why, is to write maybe three summaries each week for the next four weeks. And that's going to be very helpful for your integrated writing, of course. And you're also doing reading practice, which is also good. Okay, so now you're doing about maybe one hour each day to one and a half hours each day doing a regular routine of reading. Remember that you choose the materials that you want to read. Then each day you can schedule maybe another two or three hours. Now, I wouldn't say six hours a day. I don't. I, I think you're going to burn out. It's going to be too much for your brain to study TOEFL for six hours. But maybe for one or two more hours, uh, you can study directly at my online TOEFL course. And the main thing here is I want you to go over each day, do maybe a pronunciation lesson, a grammar lesson, a writing lesson, maybe a reading lesson. Right? Then the next day you do the same thing. So each week you're not just studying one specific area, you're getting kind of a variety of different things uh, to help you. So you'll start completing practice tests on a regular basis. I think that's important for you. Um, and you're also doing grammar practice, which is good because of your writing score. You do need to solve some grammar issues, I think, before you can continue to improve. So that's it. So you're working on reading, writing, grammar, and pronunciation, and try to make a goal each week to submit 
two to three independent or integrated practice tests each week. And remember what my rule is. My rule is you cannot submit more than one practice test each day that you're one of my students because it just makes me too busy and I, keep, I want to keep my price low for you guys. All right? So uh, that's pretty much it. So uh, I think we have a good plan for you now. Your first plan, of course, is to do that one hour of reading practice. And then for the next one or two hours each day, you can do reading, writing, grammar, and pronunciation practice directly at my online TOEFL course. Now remember that my online TOEFL course you have complete unlimited access once you become one of my students you can use the course any way you want anywhere you want anytime you want so I'm just giving you some suggestions on some things that you can do that can help you based on your current needs alright anyway thank you very much for your comments and all the best to your high scoring TOEFL success